Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Anya Weissman and on this channel I primarily focus on education. We talk about marketing, aesthetic medicine, and skincare. In today's video I'm introducing you to the new Elastin Vitamin C formulation, the C Radical Defense Antioxidant Serum. And there was an excellent article published on this product which I will link down below and you can have a read if you'd like. The article is really what actually prompted me to be really impressed with this product. I'll be honest, when it first came out and I saw that the antioxidants were in three categories of lipophilic or fat loving, water loving and enzymatic, I thought they're just copying Skin Better Science Alto. And I sort of dismissed it. And I tried it and it was nice, but I wasn't that excited about it. After I read this article, I got really excited about it and I think this has elevated into one of my favorites. So in this video, I'll explain to you the transformation with education and how that could have happened. So starting off with the basics, this is a light gel-like consistency. So if you find Alto too heavy, you may really enjoy this because of its lightweight consistency. Another benefit of this product is that it's niacinamide free. I do have a few of you that are sensitive to niacinamide and you always reach out and ask, does this product have niacinamide? So I can tell you Alto Advanced does have niacinamide. This product is niacinamide free. So that's wonderful for those with a sensitivity. And the interesting thing about this product that came out from the research that you can read down below, I'll link it, is that the form of vitamin C in this product is called sodium ascorbate. And it has been shown that vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid can actually be detrimental to elastin. It can degrade and damage elastin. So if you use an ascorbic acid serum twice a day over years, it may impair the resilience and elasticity of your skin. This article found that in the form of sodium ascorbate at the correct concentration, because they don't disclose the concentration, but concentration matters. And so they must have played around with various concentrations and found the optimal concentration to not only conserve elastin, but to also promote elastin synthesis. So this product not only stimulates collagen, but it also stimulates elastin and protects elastin, which is a huge advantage over ascorbic acid alone. This product is also very hydrating. It's high in glycerin concentration and glycerin is a wonderful humectant. And of course they use their uh, traditional elastin technology of liposomal coating. So the sodium ascorbate is in a liposome, which is a fatty, if you imagine a fatty little bubble with the vitamin C inside. And that is the technology used by elastin to help it travel deeper into the skin and be released. So very nice gel-like, non-irritating, lightweight consistency, high in glycerin. Now let's talk about these three categories. In the water soluble category, of course, we have sodium ascorbate. We also have ergothionine, which is at the right concentrations, protective of mitochondrial DNA and also protective of telomere shortening under stress. And if you've never heard the word telomere, they're little ends on the ends of our chromosomes. And as they get shorter over time, that causes aging, biological aging. And so anything that conserves those telomeres and protects them from getting shorter is actually very anti-aging. So those are some of the benefits of ergothionine. Other ingredients in here include, include pomegranate, green tea, lactoferrin, centella asiatica in the water-loving category. In the enzymatic category, we have coenzyme Q and Tremella fusiformis, which has been shown to increase and boost hyaluronic acid levels. In the hydrophobic or fat-loving category, we have Bisabolol and Thessalus angulata, which is always hard for me to pronounce, in phytoene and phytofluene. 
for the fat loving antioxidants. So it's a very nice medley of 15 different antioxidants in all three categories a vitamin C covered in a lipid bubble that can help absorb into the skin with a function that not only boosts collagen, but also boosts elastin. So those are the reasons why I love this product. I think it's really nice that it's niacinamide free. As much as I do love niacinamide and am a fan, I think it's better to have select niacinamide products because so many people do have a sensitivity to it. So that is an advantage for those individuals. And it just is such a nice gel-like consistency going on. And you get a lot of hydration uh, from this product with the glycerin in here. So I'll just show you what that gel-like consistency is like. It has a little bit of a cream color, but it's very, very watery and it just glides on really like a glycerin hydrator. It does, it's scent free, but it does have just this ever so subtle herbal scent. You, you almost can't smell it. It's very, very subtle. It just smells like nature. I, I actually really love it. So I would love to know if you've tried it and if you use Alto Advanced, which is your favorite, and are you going to make the switch to this product or not? I think I'm going to put it in my favorite shelf and just incorporate it into my, um, you know, my daily skincare routine. So I hope you found this video helpful, useful. Leave any questions you may have down below and I'll see you in the next video.